okay so this video serves to just help you understand the journey of the nutrients uh during digestion okay so of course when you put any type of food uh in the mouth so here there's uh, most is physical digestion that is breaking down proteins uh, starch fats we're going to concentrate on three types of food maybe four uh that is uh proteins okay uh proteins uh fats or lipids and uh carbohydrates uh, to be specific starch okay these are the ones there are different types of food but we're going to concentrate on these three proteins fats starch and maybe water yeah and water of course it's very important okay so uh when you put food whatever food you are eating uh in the mouth there's many physical digestion remember there are two types of digestion physical and chemical so physical is where you break down food okay so what you're going to remain with is uh just food that has been broken down why do we break down food to increase the surface area okay um but there is starch which undergoes chemical digestion by the action of the enzyme survival amylase your job is to know the nutrients and the enzyme that breaks it and what is formed after starch has been broken by amylase okay and what is formed is uh, maltose okay maltose okay so in the mouth there's only chemical digestion of starch okay uh, the rest is physical digestion so as you are swallowing the food uh it is going to be made of proteins if of course your food the food that, that you have eaten as proteins uh fats uh starch and the, the new thing that has been formed the maltose because not all starch is digested in the mouth okay so as the food is going down the the alimentary canal so far guys it undergoes physical digestion through the action of peristosis peristosis is an example of physical digestion okay uh though uh we don't consider that much but of course food is going to be pushed uh physically you need to know of course the action of the uh secular and long longitudinal muscles behind the bolus and also in front of the bolus if the bolus is here you need to know that the secular muscles do this the longitudinal muscles do this and also uh the the, the longitudinal and secular muscles in front of the bolus what they do you need to know okay in terms of relaxing and contracting okay so as the food comes down the next stage where we expect some action to be is the stomach so in the stomach uh the environment is acidic because of hydrochloric acid so the ph is between uh somewhere like two but we can say below seven it's acidic okay because of the hydrochloric acid that is in the stomach so uh the acidic env environment is optimum for the digestion of proteins okay digestion of proteins so meaning that this is where uh protein digestion starts so in the stomach that's where protein digestion starts okay remember starch digestion starts from the mouth and we're talking about chemical digestion physical digestion of everything starts here but chemical digestion here is just starch which is broken down to maltose here proteins are going to be broken down to uh peptides okay peptides okay by a group of enzymes called proteases there are different uh types of proteases but uh, that's what they're called collectively called okay uh so proteins are going to be broken down to peptides and a bit of amino acids okay uh amino acids okay so uh one thing you should also know is uh, starch when it's fully broken down when it's fully broken down it forms it has to form glucose or fructose some simple sugar proteins have to form amino acids okay amino acids that's what proteins are supposed to form when proteins have been broken down to form amino acids then digestion is complete when starch is broken down to form glucose then digestion is complete okay and when it comes to fats they have to be broken down to form um uh, um 
fatty acids and the grease law okay grease law anyway you know the spellings okay so uh just a recap of what i've said so far uh physical digestion is here uh here there's only one chemical digestion that is uh starch being broken down to maltose by enzyme amylase then when we go here we have proteins being broken down to form peptides uh by by uh, enzymes the proteases uh, such as trypsin pepsin okay uh then from here uh of course even fats are a bit broken down but not that much it's most like some sort of physical digestion anyway we go to the duodenum in the duodenum that's where there is also action okay because in the duodenum we have uh starch remember the starch that uh, had remained uh, after physical digestion in the mouth is going to be finished in the duodenum so in the duodenum starch digestion is going to be completed that is all the starch is going to be broken down to maltose it means we no longer have starch we just have maltose now okay also here uh the pro the, the digestion the protein is not a, a big digestion that's why it starts but it's not a big digestion that is some proteins are going to remain also just like what happened to starch here so even here some proteins are going to remain okay these proteins when they go to the duodenum they are going to be broken down to peptides as well okay but uh remember uh for starch digestion uh the, the 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 ph in the mouth should be neutral or uh a bit alkaline so that's the situation in the dodena but of course when uh when we are the 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 the, the the enzymes that works on proteins comes from the pancreas. They 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 are they, they can work in a slightly acidic environment. So it's mostly alkaline, but they do manage to break proteins. Okay. So in short, in the duodenum, we see starch being broken completely to maltose. We no longer have starch proteins being broken down to peptides. We no longer have, we no longer have proteins, and this is where the major digestion of fats occur. Where bowel salts emulsify fats, and after emulsification, then uh, fats are broken down to form uh, lipids and glycerol. Lipids and glycerol. Okay. So in the duodenum, it's like we are almost done with digestion because fats have been converted to lipids and glycerol. However, proteins are not amino acids yet; they are they are peptides, and starch is not glucose yet. Yeah, yet it's maltose. So the last stage of digestion is the uh jejunum okay so in the jejunum uh here that's where the last action occurs so in the jejunum uh there is uh maltose being broken down to maltose being broken down to glucose and starch digestion is complete also peptides are broken down to amino acids okay so making protein digestion complete Okay. Of course, uh, there are other carbohydrates such as uh, uh, sucrose, uh, lactose, which is found in milk. So those ones are also broken down here. Uh, lactose is going to be broken down to lactase. Uh, I mean to 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 um, is it glucose and fructose, if I'm not mistaken, by lactase, and also uh, uh, sucrose is going to be broken down by sucrose. Okay. So uh this is what happens okay to everything i'm sure now i have a picture okay so in summary here there's only a starch being broken down to maltose here there's only proteins being broken down to uh to peptides here we are the the, the duodenum we have uh all three being broken down to 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 peptides if it's proteins to glucose i mean to maltose if it is starch and at lipids and glycerol, I mean to fatty acids and glycerol if it's lipids or fats. Lipids and fats and fats are one and the same thing. Don't forget that. Okay. Then in the uh, jejunum, that's where the final job is done. Where the peptides, which comes from proteins, is broken down to amino acids. The the maltose, which comes from glucose, is broken. Uh, which comes from I mean starch, is broken down to glucose, and the uh, sorry the, the 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 lipids the fat acids and glycerol are not uh, are the end product so 
them their digestion ends here okay so here there's just the digestion of peptides and uh maltose okay hope it's clear now okay then what happened to the water so the water is going to be used during chewing uh, during peristalsis uh it, it will help maybe here and here okay when so the, the whole the, the water just helps in this entire process of course when it reaches the the large intestine now uh, uh some water is going to be absorbed because the body also needs water for other processes so some water is going to are going to be absorbed into the body okay they're going to be absorbed into the body the remaining water uh, uh is going to be used for other purposes of course uh so um then also the last part of the small intestine is the idiom these things the fat acids and grease flow that comes from fats the glucose that comes from starch and the mm -hmm. the amino acids that comes from from proteins the, the in the in the idiom the last part of the small intestines that's when they are going to be absorbed into the body when food is in the uh, digestive system it's not yet in the body okay for you to benefit from it it has to be absorbed and assimilated into the cells of the body okay so in the uh, idiom the function of the idiom is just to absorb the food okay the function of the colony or large intestine is to absorb the water and the function of the jejunum is to complete the digestion of starch in form of maltose and uh, proteins in, in form of peptides and the function of the duodenum is to break down fats to 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 fatty acids and glycerol and to break down starch to maltose and to break down proteins to peptides okay and the function of this is to break down uh, proteins to peptides the function of here is to break down starch to maltose i'm just talking about the chemical digestion aspect one thing to notice to, to mention is uh, digestion of uh, fats in the duodenum has two stages the first is emulsification 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 is a it's more like a physical digestion because fats are broken down into smaller pieces physical are broken down into smaller pieces so it acts like a physical digestion okay so as to increase the surface area okay then uh, after that there's a chemical digestion where fats now are changed to uh, fatty acids and glycerol uh, with the help of the enzyme called pancreatic lipase okay lipase taken from the word lipids 